Let's learn how to tan fish skins using an all-natural tanning process with alder bark. Got to collect your salmon skins. To do that I use cold soapy water and use kitchen tools such as butter knife and spoon to do the flushing. It's important to get all of the flesh off of the fish skin as well as all of the scales. This is important in the tanning process to ensure that the tanning solution can penetrate the skin all the way through. It's a fairly simple process to flesh and descale fish. You should be able to do it without ripping the skin or damaging it. If you find that your skin is ripping, then your skin has decomposed too much to where it is no longer good for tanning. So you would have to throw that one away and get some fresh skins to tan with. Continue this process and keep your fish skin moist during this time. Make sure you have cold soapy water to dunk it in if it begins to get warm on you. You want to keep that skin cold so that it doesn't start decomposing on you as you're working on it. Okay, now that we have all of the flesh and scales off of the skin, it's now time to put it into an alder bark solution that we made by boiling the alder bark for two hours with some water. Add the solution into a large container just like this one. The solution is at maximum um, potency and what you'll do is you'll do 50% of the solution with 50% water. If you put in the fish skins with in a solution that's 100% potency it will burn the fish skin so make sure you dilute it. Add a little bit of salt, a squirt of dish soap and stir it up so it uh, all dissolves. After it's all dissolved, you can put your clean fish skins inside of the solution. This will begin your tanning process. 
that can take anywhere from 7 to 10 days depending on how thick your hides are. You should be putting your skins in a container that's large enough for them to move freely so that you could stir them and they can get uh, a full coverage of the solution at all times. You should stir the solution every hour for the first six hours when you first put them in there and then cover it up and let them sit for the day and every day you just stir the solution once as well as replace half of that solution out with fresh 100% solution. And here's what the fish look like after sitting in the solution for a day. And here's what they look like after a week. This is what they look like. They've been in here for about a week. They're just about ready for softening. Nice and strong leather. Once your fish skins are ready to be softened, make a solution with warm water, two egg yolks, oil, and some soap, and massage your fish skins with this solution on both sides. And once it's all massaged in there, you let it sit for about 10 minutes in there as it sucks up so all of the moisture to soften it for the next step and process of tanning your fish skins. After this step, I begin to dry the fish skins. I like to use a styrofoam sheet with bobby pins to gently stretch it out as it slowly dries. I like to use the bobby pins because it, it's nice and quick and easy to tack them up and take them down. You want to get the fish up to dry, not completely dried, but about 80% dry so that it's still damp. And once you get to that point, you can take it off and start to soften it with your hands. It's important not to let it dry completely or else it'll become too stiff to soften and you would need to re-moisten it. So once we get to that point, we will put some oil on the fish skin. I like to use coconut oil because it's natural, non-toxic. I put it on both sides, on the outside and on the flesh side making sure that I get all corners and crevices of it. And I start to soften it, spreading it out, stretching the fibers, so that once it um, dries completely, because it's still moist, it's not completely dry, it will be nice and soft and supple to sew with. This process could take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes depending on how damp your fish skin is. 
and takes the most time out of the process of tanning fish skins. So make sure you have time to do this properly because this part will ensure that your fish skins are nice and supple for sewing with. I like to use some softeners and scrapers for this process as well. And this will help break down the fibers of the fish skin. And when I use tools like these, I use them on the flesh side and not on the scale side just because I don't want to damage the scale side. I want it to look nice and clean and crisp so I do all of my tool softening on the flesh side only. I'd just like to take this time to give a shout out to my teachers who've helped me learn the skill. Jackie Lapiarvi from the Northwest Campus in Nome had a fish skin tanning class and I took it and learned from her and I continued to use this process that she taught me to help create art and I just really appreciate her sharing what she knows with me. So, Koyana, Jackie. Another tool I like to use is a chair. Use the side of a chair or the back of a chair to rub your fish skin on, flesh side only, to help break down the fibers. And what I like to do is I go up and down long ways on all sides of the fish. And then I'll turn the fish sideways and go up and down sideways on the fish. That way I know I'm breaking the fibers on uh, all directions. This part can take a long time so it's good to have people to help you. People in your family can help sit down, watch TV, and soften your fish skins. And luckily I have my daughter who loves to help out, so here's her softening some fish skins on her own. Good job softening them. Like Just like that. She's been really helpful throughout the process and I just enjoy spending time with her and sharing what I know with her. And here's the final fish skin. Nice and soft and supple. You could see that it bends easily. It's not crinkly and it'll be perfect for sewing with. I'll make wallets. I'll use it for accents for my cummicks and make some earrings. The possibilities are endless. Thank you for joining me on this process of tanning fish skins. I'd like to hear your technique of tanning fish skins, so comment below, like, and subscribe.